Hello guys and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video. I got myself a PC beta code so I can continue getting bits of footage here and there. I still have tons of gameplay from the PS4 beta, but it's good to have the game to record things here and there. Aiming with the mouse and keyboard is quite a bit easier actually, but I decided to be a pleb and use the PS4 controller. That's why you might see PS4 button prompt things on the screen sometimes. I mean, I go back and forth. It's really easy to do that, but I'm already used to all the movement mechanics for the PS4 and I figured I might as well practice with it since I'll be getting the game on PS4. If I were going to get the game on PC, I would absolutely be using my mouse because I would have to or I would get wrecked for using a controller, but for only five days, I don't see a reason to transition over. I don't even feel like I'm at a disadvantage, surprisingly. If anything, I'm at an advantage. It feels like I never left the PS4. I always forget I'm playing on PC. I guess everyone is just getting used to the game. Anyway, I wanted to talk about some more advanced movement mechanics that you may not have picked up on. They've been very useful to me, so I figured I'd pass them along. Number one being how to stay off the radar when boost jumping. Well, use the Blast Suppressor perk. Thanks, but, uh, no. I don't mean that. In Advanced Warfare, Blast Suppressor was a massive crutch perk. Your perk 3 slot was basically locked to Blast Suppressor, perk 3 wildcard, and toughness. Thankfully, there are fewer or maybe no true crutch perks in this game, which is very good, and I wouldn't even recommend using Blast Suppressor. So how can you avoid making that radar ping? First, understand how it works. You only show up on the radar when you boost jump at full charge, meaning when that bar is full. You can see here I jump at full charge and show up on the radar, but now I'm jumping without letting it fully charge up, and it is both very quiet and I do not make a ping on the radar. So that's good to know, but it isn't like you can always be jumping every couple of seconds to keep your bar from ever recharging. No, but you can boost slide before boost jumping to stay off the radar. This is a very good habit to get into. The boost slide does not make you show up on the radar, which is very good, and that is why I don't think Blast Suppressor is a crutch perk in this game. And boost slide takes away half of the bar, meaning a follow-up jump will both be quiet and not ping the radar. You do have less energy behind your jump, but you rarely need the full bar. Most of the places that you need to jump to reach, you can do with half a bar. And staying off the radar is worth it. Instead of jumping across this little gap here like many people might and telling everyone where you are, you could wall run too, or you can do the slide into jump maneuver, and now you can flank people and they'll have no idea, whereas if you made that little ping, everyone will see that out of the corner of their eye and they'll know you're coming from that direction. This is very good to travel quickly across the map without showing enemies where you are and it's also very good to reach basically every ledge in the game instead of making a lot of noise and flying up over it. A simple slide jump climb is a lot cleaner. I use that trick all the time and I think you should too. It is very very helpful to have that extra bit of stealth instead of wasting a class point on blast suppressor or constantly making pings on the radar. I hope that is a helpful little tip. Something I'll throw in here. I see a lot of people holding their jump to float upwards like the game tells you to do and you can do that most of the time. It's not like it's a bad thing, but something I like doing is rapidly tapping the jump button to elevate myself. At first I did this out of boredom for no reason at all but to occupy my hand more, but I quickly started to feel like it was more effective than holding the button down, and it actually does help you jump higher. I did a little test here and the results make it consistently clear that you do jump higher by tapping and not just holding down jump. It doesn't look like a big deal on the wall test here, and uh, I guess it isn't, but it feels like a pretty big difference when you're doing it, obviously partly placebo, but it does do something. I also like tapping jump because if you're using the default controls on a gamepad, you'll know that you can't hold down jump and aim with the right analog stick at the same time, and I like tapping it because I feel like I can react to someone and aim faster than if I was just holding it down, kind of like how a fighter would keep on their toes and keep moving. I like tapping the jump button, maybe it's just personal preference, but you can try that out too. One last movement tip I'll include in this video is remember that you can wall run on the outside of many maps. It feels like you shouldn't even be out here, but you can use this to flank around people because nobody is conditioned to watch for people to pop out from below the map or from the side of the map. You can do it to get away from a gunfight. If you're getting shot at, you can often jump off the map and recover it to wall run away or wall run behind them to get the jump on them. And a lot of people will assume you're dead if they see you jump off the map, but you can grab onto a wall and make your way back up. Just doing something unexpected is usually a good thing. 
I made this little discovery, if you want to call it that, on the first day of the PS4 beta, actually, and I was like, wow, I bet a lot of people won't think to wall run out here, and I put that on the list of video ideas, but I saw that Drifter made a video basically talking about exactly this the next day, so he beat me to it, and I never made a video about it out of, well, respect and logic, but I figured I'd throw it in here with the other information in this video in case it is new to you. So there you have three quick little movement strategies that you may not have thought to use. That method for keeping your jumping off the radar is a pretty big big deal I think. Hopefully you can put that to good use and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.